How's it going folks? This is Mike Murtis from GamerLogic.net and today I'm trying out the new HodgePodge capture software. This is a in-house developed capture software by the guys over at HodgePodge. So if you're familiar with their products, the HD PVR and the HD PVR 2 Gaming Edition, then you'll know that in the past they've kind of used some third-party capture software and this new software is developed in-house, looks great and seems to be a vast improvement over the previous stuff they were using. It has the ability to capture, edit, as well as use their streaming utility, which is also excellent. I haven't had a chance to use that, but what I wanted to do here is go ahead and test the microphone capabilities as well as recording some actual game footage and playing along with it just to see if everything adds up. So what we have here is a reproduction cartridge, a retro game from the Super Nintendo era 1993, and this is the official Star Fox competition pack. So we're going to go ahead and dive in here and see what we can get through a run through. It's been 20 years since I've played this. And let me make sure I can remember the controls here. Here's my blaster. Let it break. Start of the game. Now this cartridge differed from the standard edition of Star Fox. Back in 1993, there was a tournament to get a high score in Star Fox. It was called Super Star Fox Weekend. And this is a reproduction cartridge from that very special cartridge they used in development, so it's been quite a long time since I played this, so I might not be too good here, so bear with me there. Now one thing I want to point out about using this capture software is I am using a Turtle Beach headset right now to record my voice along with the video that's being recorded right through this capture software. And I will say that, um, unless this doesn't throw you off, uh, there is a delay in audio, and there's obviously a, a delay in video too from the program, probably about, uh, I'd, I'd say maybe 10 seconds. Um, so if you're trying to play the game and you're looking for accurate audio, um, on the second, on the spot audio, do not want to use the audio coming out of your computer or through the HodgePodge capture utility to be synced up. You want to plug your Turtle Beach headset into an actual source coming either from the TV or from your game console itself. It's good that you can hear the output of the sound coming from uh, the capture utility, but trying to use it to sync up with stuff, uh, it may throw you off. It's throwing me off a little bit here, but not a huge deal. I believe the delay is due to the fact that this is coming through uh, USB. The capture card uses USB. There's the first boss, and we have two minutes, seven seconds, six seconds. This will mean that they count the timer during this. But uh, so far, it looks like the capture card's looking great. Sounds like audio is going to be okay. And we got a good picture here. So, so far, so good. Like in the software. But again, you want to make sure that, uh, unless you don't mind the audio delay, plug in directly to your source. 94%. Back in 1993, if you were a, a real good pilot, uh, depending on the store you participated in, if you were like the high scorer at your store, you could actually win a jacket. Um, and if you really got the top score, you would end up going to your regional finals and then on and on and on, essentially. Otherwise, most regular players that didn't do too good, I was 10 years old back then, at least walked out with a Star Fox pin, which I still have today.
think uh, back in the day when I played the Seth tournament, I did not get past this point. I struggled with the boss. I think I was saving my Nova bombs for some strange reason. We only got, what, three to, you know, five to three minutes. What's the point of saving him? At least, at least the stage ends quicker. There's not so much flying around, so you don't have to worry about the countdown. This is interesting, because normally at this point, if this was following uh, first course logic, this would be the Space Armada. And it looks like they put together a custom level for this, so kind of testing your flying ability through this stuff. And there's my total score, which probably dwarfs what I had from 20 years ago. So, very cool. I'm uh, going to have to get my little brother over here and have a little war with him, because originally he beat me at the tournament, and boy, was I quite angry about that. So, I hope you enjoyed this little test video. I'm curious to hear back the playback on this and see how it looks on YouTube, as well as various other sources. Thank you, HodgePodge, for putting together a from what seems to be a decent piece of software that's developed internally rather than third party. It shows you guys really do support your products. And that's all I got. Thank you, folks.